Two. One thing only catch my mind. If you get out of character, fall to his mom. Pop a park for a foe, I ain't sipping no lime. Same spot, same city, if you tryna find me. Uh. Two times I don't promote vibes. I get paranoid when I start hearing them slide. He ain't hard, he just acting like that cause that pills are beside. Like, why she start running, my dick was inside. <laughs> What's good, y'all? We on another episode of the Hot Seat. How to see in the city. It's your boy, Prom Tom Sire. We got two special guests with us. Man, what's happening, man? You got mirrors two times, you know, you feel me? In Charlotte, South Charlotte area. Um, my name is Lux. Well, I go by Lux Go Crazy. Most people know me by Lux Go Crazy. Okay. But nah, I was actually born in Boston. I moved here in 2008 after like a little market crash. I remember my parents sold a crib and then we just moved down here after that. Where? So how long you been down here? Uh, probably a little over 10, probably like 13 years now. 13 years, yeah. so this home. Yeah, and I was like home. I feel like home. I feel like I'm from here now, for real. Right. Yeah, the city, you know, Charlotte. You feel yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you born and raised in Charlotte since a baby? Yes, sir. Sure. South Side? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty much the side I was on, too. Like, I remember, I, like, I met him, like, it was crazy because like, I met him, like, I met him one time being with my, like, one of my brothers, like, one of my best friends. It was crazy. And, like, my best friend was, like, talking to one of his sister at one point. Right. And I remember, like, that's why I met him, like, just being in the back of her car. Like, I was like, nah, I didn't know who he was, but I guess that was her brother. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I seen him that one time, and after that, I ain't seen him until, like, we linked up probably a year ago. Oh, that's dope. Like, so y'all yeah. was locked in before the music shit. Yeah, crazy. It's kind of like it was a line to be this way. That's yeah, how it feels. We started real. fucking each other around like, even like, like hard, probably like, like what, 2020? Like, like a year ago. Yeah, like a little over a year ago. Okay, where? Yeah, he came and got a session, and that's really where it started. I was working at Wealthy Studio uh, Records over mm -hmm. off of Tucker City Road, and I was just running sessions there. He hit me up and came through, bro, and like, you got this star doing that shit here, got done day. Yeah. Like, got done, yo. Real for real. Making them, making them hit, so I ain't gonna lie. Show, sure. yeah. now I done heard a few of y'all shit. Y'all, yeah. scary duo for sure. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it, bro. Appreciate it, be hit. So talk yeah. about growing up on the south side. What was it like coming up out there? Because you know, yeah. we on the north side, so y'all just, y'all yeah. far as fuck away from us. So we don't yeah, really we know like what you're doing. minutes down. away, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, shit, got down. Other niggas had it worse. I mean, shit, it wasn't got down easy like that. I mean, niggas start doing, you feel me? Start doing my own thing type shit over time, you feel me? But got down. Then shit happened, but you feel me? I'm back now, nah, you feel me? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I know you said they got you on the six or six. Yeah, hey, yeah, got down some bullshit. Or it caught you on some, some fuck shit. Yeah, the fuck got down. Caught some, got down charges and shit. Got down, you feel me? Dealing with some shit, got down. But I was already in the band right before that, though. Right. But basically the same thing, though. Where you ain't end up having to go do no time or nothing like that, did you? Nah, hell no. I got them. I was, just in that, I was just in that bitch for like two weeks. Got them. They ain't give me no bond at first, though. You feel me? So I got them. I had to wait. Give them two weeks. Word. Got them. They let me out. Shit, I'll bond. Nah, for sure. You don't want to get them folks none of your time. For real. Nah, no more. We got none. We got none. That shit yeah. out the window. Nah, for sure. So talk about, because I seen, I went down your page. You've been outside pretty much since a youngin'. You know, Charlotte ain't really the place where everybody was outside, like, since they was. Nah, hell no. Nah. You feel me? Even a lot of shit. All right, so some Change. niggas, ain't some niggas ain't get off the porch till they fucking graduated high school, shit like that. Yeah, shit so like that. Yeah. Just talk about what you was doing before the music. I know. I already got them doing music at them since like 2014. Yeah, I was already rapping on some shit. I was on the band. I was on house records. Right. I was just doing that shit on some bored shit. You feel me? But got them. I didn't really got them before that though. I was just even at that time. You feel me? I was right before I had this time and shit. 2015. But like before that, bro, I was like I was like 15 and shit. And bro, I was just got them on some hard headed shit though. Like all right. I wasn't really, I wasn't really in the right direction. You feel me? I even had no goals type shit. I, I right. ain't had no, I don't know. I was got nothing to say, but so music helps you, save you, yeah, you help you get on the right path. Type. I really got them, um, yeah. Took that shit serious when I got out from doing uh, four years and shit. All right, so you did, you did do a little time. You went in for four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll talk about that. What was that experience like? Shit, I got them. Um, yeah, what you make it, got them, you feel me? I mean, it ain't what, like, you see on movies and shit like that. But right. It's definitely like a respect type thing, you know, you feel me? It just, it is what you make it. It's like, it's depending on what type of nigga you is. No cap. So that's when you uh started getting on the music, around that time? 
Yeah, like I was writing hella shit. I ain't never, I ain't never really like made no songs with none of them shits though. But I was really practicing and though. You feel me? Trying to perfect my craft. All right. I ain't really been in no real studio though. Like even before that, I was just recording in my career. Right. But, like came home. I just got down and started making a whole bunch of new shit. I ain't used none of that shit though. Like I am. So you ain't used none of that shit. Though. I ain't had no like produce at the time, you feel me? Cause I met him my second time when I got out. You know, like really like linked up with him. All right. But so you was doing it pretty much by yourself at that time. Yeah. All right. When you started it back then, did you see yourself being in this position today, like where you are now? Hell, I mean, yeah, like it's like yeah, but but you feel me? That's what you gotta expect. You feel me? You can't like minimize yourself to nothing. You feel me? Like. Got to got them thing positive, but I mean, I ain't like I definitely got far though. I still ain't where I want to be, but yeah, see, I definitely got far though. Like from the times I was locked up, really think about that shit, like and all my goals I got to make that shit happen. You feel me? I'm at I'm at a good you feel me position right now, good little sure. spot, but you feel me? I'm still working though. You know all that. No doubt, got to keep that shit going for sure. Yeah. So you get a lot of support. I'm checking your YouTube videos out and shit. You got a pretty good following and shit like that. Where'd you think that come from? Like Charlotte, or you think that come more of outside the city? I mean, shit, got them. Over time, that shit got them. Expanded, got them. Out of Charlotte for real, a little bit, got them. I be seeing my views and all, it be a good bit. Feed me everywhere, got them. I done seen Georgia, Texas. All right. Feed me everywhere, got them. A few places, though. I ain't gonna say every state, but. I seen a few good numbers in different places, but nah, for sure. that shit probably come from like promoting my shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Investing in myself, like, and that's the one thing I noticed too. You promote your shit well. Like mm-hmm. it ain't how everybody else around this motherfucker be promoting their shit. Like it's like real clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to got them. Ain't nobody got them gonna do it for me like that. You feel me? Like for sure. Where you think that marketing like mine came from? Cause it's it's clear you got some sort of knowledge on that. It is like taking shit serious though. Like if you want to do something, you feel me? You gotta like go full throttle. You gotta like you gotta find shit out about shit. Like if you want to rap, you gotta find out like what is the market your shit because it's it's more than just mm-hmm. dropping a song. You feel me? Unless you already know a good amount of people or something. But like you gotta you feel me? You gotta drop bread. You gotta like know what to do when it comes to this shit because like, like really you gonna get frustrated. But it's gonna be options. You're not willing to got them. Then you choose from and got them invest in yourself. And pretty much watching the best do it. You got to watch the best because when you learn, like, what, you know, how the best do it. Right. Not literally being them, but, like, like learning the marketing skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P- picking up on that shit and just doing it in your own way. Nah, no cap. Yeah. I seen him doing that, bro. I didn't even know him, and I seen him doing that shit. I'm like, yeah. Like, right, cause it, it made me want to work with him. I ain't really exactly. forced working with him. That shit really, really made me want to work right, with him. Like, want to get with you, attract people to you. Yeah. And you taking it serious and shit. I just, you feel me? So... Yeah. Hell yeah, marketing shit really got down. You gotta right. learn. You gotta, you gotta learn from the best. Who would you say inspires y'all musically? Like, who Damn. was it that you was looking at? Like, all right, yeah, I like how this nigga moving. Like, he really, he put his shit together. He get his shit out here. Like, I'm trying to move like that. I mean, got them. Um, you saying like as far as like who inspired me to rap type shit? Rap, market, hustle, all that shit. Like, it's all under the same umbrella. Oh uh, yeah, I mean like. Just being locked up though, like listening to the radio all got down the day, you feel me? You like right. you seeing all that shit, like how niggas blowing up, you seeing all the, the new hits dropping on the radio and shit. So it's just like you think like, damn, like these niggas doing that shit like well, you know you can do it. Like you feel me? some of them niggas like I ain't I ain't knocking nobody shit, but like you feel me, some of that right. shit be you feel me like not it, but like it might just be like a hit type shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like People some, pick up on the shit. Yeah, like some repetitive, but some like niggas fucking with. You know, yeah. But like, all that shit just like made me like think of shit to do. Like, even read magazines, like mm-hmm. about rappers, all that type of shit. Seeing niggas' stories. I seen a lot of shit though, but got them, you feel me? All that shit with motivation, you feel me? For sure. It'd be a long ass list, naming like how to rap. Like, uh, most definitely. 